hello everybody how are you guys doing today welcome back welcome back to another stream we're gonna be playing some settlement survival hope you guys are all gonna enjoy it let's um just the audio a little bit it's slightly <clears throat> slightly too much on the loudest volumes and of course now the music stops completely so i can't adjust it properly that's great. Now we're doing on 40. 40 should be fine. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so yeah. This is, um, well, it's a first look, but also it isn't. Because I have already played a demo version of the game for like 30 minutes. Uh, about half a year ago, I believe. Don't remember exactly when and what it was like w what was there in the game i don't remember any of it so um it will be kind of a an actual <clears throat> an actual uh, first look because during that live stream i also did a bunch of other games i did like one live stream with like four five different uh, demos so um yeah today is dedicated to uh, to this let's go through the tutorials first i guess you have basic control, keys to survival, and tech and trade. Uh, we should probably do that. Good to see you there, Craft Joy. Hello. Good to see everybody watching. Already nine people combined. Thanks for the likes. Uh, good afternoon. How are the burns doing? Hope you're doing okay. Actually, I'm not even feeling them anymore. I'm not seeing them and not feeling them. So, um, yeah. Uh, cooling them down for like 10 minutes. And uh, putting gaze around it with uh, Vaseline on, on my fingers uh, actually did the trick. I didn't feel any pain anymore and I don't see anything either. Well, I see like, <clears throat> I see like a tiny red dot, a really tiny red dot, but it's not even red. It's more like pinkish, I guess. <laughs> so it's really not that bad. It's hardly noticeable. If you don't know it's there, then uh, you won't notice it. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's good stuff. Good to see you, Daniel and Daniela as well. <laughs> Daniel and Daniela Smith. Hello. Good to see you. <clears throat> Welcome. All right, let's start the tutorial. Let's start playing the game. So, what do we do? Your people have finally found the settlement and now... Uh, now start to build their own homes on this new land. This tutorial will guide you through the basic operations in the game. Alright, sounds good. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, you can open up the options menu. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh wait, do we have to do that? Okay. I have to follow it. W-A-S-D... <clears throat> right Q and E middle mouse button holding middle mouse button all right I'll probably be using this more often or actually Q and E on keyboard is pretty easy too but I like this hey thanks for becoming a member there that's awesome Daniela thank you very much for uh, becoming a member to the channel and boosting us uh, and boosting the channel yeah my god, I can't speak. It's it's too early. I mean, I woke up a couple of hours ago, so it's not like I just woke up, but... It's so warm in my room, and I'm so tired, and... God. Speaking English makes... Uh, becomes a lot more difficult in these conditions. It's 31 degrees Celsius um, outside now. And probably in my room. I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I feel like it's like 28, 29. It's not great. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. Uh, press U or top left button. This one. Okay. For the resource monitor. Oh, to hide it. I see. Okay. And tick the resource to monitor its quantity more efficiently okay 
Ah, I see. Okay, so food, beverages. Okay. Right, right. Oh, they want me to do this then? No? Tick? What does that do? What does ticking this do? Oh, it shows it up there. Oh, I see. So you can take a look at a specific food type. Can we also do both? No, so we can only do one of the food types. Okay. Well, I rather just um, just watch all of them. There we go. I'll rather watch the total amount. There you go. <clears throat> um. Yeah, it's hot. Was up until four a.m. playing core keeper with the others. Could not sleep from the warmth anyway. I didn't really have many problems with uh, with sleeping per se because. Um, after the stream, I went downstairs and I just opened up my room here, opened up my, uh, my door. And, uh, we have a window open in the, in, like, the, the bathroom. So the cold air from outside cooled down my room here a little bit before I went to sleep. So that was good. Much better. Uh, click on the sidebar. Okay. All right, there we go. You can see all the people with problems, I guess. The housing issue. Right. Scroll in and out. Page up and down. Nobody uses that. Uh, RF for adjusting housing orientation. Yeah, right. Rotating. Hey, Norman. Good to see you. Welcome. Good to see everybody watching. Uh, an F to switch certain structure types. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now please build two houses. Okay, I want to do that, but you haven't even explained to me how to get there. <laughs> it's funny, they tell me about rotating the houses, but they don't actually tell me on how to get to the houses. I mean, I know, but... <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, so we can rotate. And we can switch designs on the houses. So that's pretty cool. Which we build in a completely different way. It's pretty awesome. I like... I like this one. <clears throat> that one is cool. Put that one right there, and we'll build another one right there. <clears throat> A different one. There we go. Wonderful. Remove that. Uh, open command with, with uh, zero and fell trees. <clears throat> okay. So that's this one. Okay, I see. Decorations, command, fell, and cut down some trees. And some more other resources. <clears throat> also good. Oh, does it not count for other resources? Oh, yeah, right. It's fell trees. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Gather all. Let's do that instead. There we go. That's better. Hey, how you doing, Da Vinci? Hello, hello, Stormy Cat with the popcorn. There you go, got some popcorn. Enjoy. Uh, we can slow down with... Wait, what? F1, F2, and F3, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, F1 is pause. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so hitting it, hitting it. Okay, I see. F1 is going down. F2 is going up. So you just keep pressing the number. To go up and down with those. Okay, they accidentally go into pause mode sometimes. I don't like that. 
not a big fan of that. And then uh, F2, three times to speed up to 10. Yes, okay. Space bar is the pass as well. Okay. I see, I see. You can view the building details by clicking it. Uh, now please click on the marketplace. <clears throat> this one. After the structure is closed, production will stop and workers will leave. Okay, so we need to close it. Right there. Not sure why I would want to do that. Why would you want to close it down? Not sure. If laborers and citizens that have assigned jobs. If there are laborers, citizens that haven't been assigned jobs. Uh, when enabling structures or when new structures are completed. They will automatically be placed in the structure to work. Okay, toggle it back on. Okay. Cool, cool. You can select any type of items. Some storage structure. Like a drawing. Like a drawer. Clicking a drawer like button. Click in the storage yard. That one. Okay. Why? What items you want to store in there? Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, cool. The bridge allows citizens to reach the other side of the river, increasing the scope of activities. Let's build a bridge, y'all. Select the bridge. How do I do that? Um, roads? Bridge. Yeah, I feel like this tutorial could use some work. Instead of saying select the bridge, tell me where to locate the bridges. Tell me go to roads, select the bridge. Like that, that's a little bit more specific. That's just my opinion on it. Let's get some, uh, let's get some dirt roads just to make it look nice. There we go. And then from there we'll do... We'll do a bridge. Each side should have more than two grids on land. Ah. Okay. All the text is in the way. I can barely see where I'm placing things. There we go. That should work. Hey there, Bluebell, Lawson. Good to see everybody. Hello, hello. Good morning to you all. Nightbot is confused. <laughs> oh, you did exclamation mark soup. At soup of yeah. It's because it's because you did the um the space in between. You did at space bar stroop waffle. So it has to be like one word, right? If you do only stroop waffle instead of the at, then uh and it should work just fine. Uh, let's see. Knowing the details of the city is essential for management. Press I to open up the town's details. Click the statistics button on the top left. That one. Or press I hotkey to view town details. Okay, so statistics is the same as town details. Okay. Interesting. It is daytime in Amsterdam. Uh, it sure is. In the Netherlands as well. <laughs> I don't just live in Amsterdam. I live in the Netherlands. <laughs> but yes, Amsterdam also has daytime. You're a cute stormy cat, stormy cat. Yes, yes you are. Yes you are indeed. Alright, let's continue that. Uh, the event indicator at the upper right corner of the screen shows the upcoming events for the next 20 months. <clears throat> That's this right here. Uh, let's get this away. Uh, right. Uh, different events such as merchant ships, immigrants, disasters. Right. What is this then? A merchant ship is dispatched. You can trade with it upon its arrival at a dock. 
Nice. Uh, the town hall you can accept and turn immigrants into citizens. Once population reaches a certain number, you can also select the administrators. In service, in the services toolbar, select and build the town hall. All right, services. There we go. And town hall. Ooh, that's a big boy right there. Let's build that one over here. Wonderful. And build it. When there are multiple structures being built at the same time, you can click the more urgently needed structure to prioritize it. So we can click that and prioritize it. All right, we've done that. We just have to wait now for it to be built. I guess that is what we have to do. <laughs> You'll take that suit before you go to boring school, Lawson. Aw. Yeah. School is not always fun, but it is necessary. You do learn some important things, I guess. Are they working on it? Wait, we need iron ore. Do we even have that? I guess they have given us that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have plenty of it. Cool. New tech point acquired. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Can I continue? No. Yeah, we have already uh, starting to build that. Don't like having to wait for buildings. Especially in tutorials. <laughs> Do you study electronics or investing or video games? How to go with video games. We need more good game devs out there. But I believe Lawson was gonna go um, to the police, if I'm not mistaken, right? Wasn't that something you were interested in, Lawson? I believe so. Alright, there we go. They're working on it. I'm all about gaming. Sure am. You didn't learn anything. I actually went out and did the work and did the work instead. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Let's see. What can we do here then? Reach population 50, 150. Okay, so it's not for now or yet. Uh, if you have any questions during the game, you can press O to help. Oh, that's useful. Ah, now I see. I, I understand why they put it on the letter O. Because if you need help, then it's like, oh, that's useful. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. All right. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. All right, that was the basic tutorial already. Let's go to the advanced one. Oh, that was loud. Oh, the advanced tutorial. What are we going to do? In this tutorial... Uh, this tutorial will guide you how to on how to keep your citizens alive. Oh, that's useful. Yes, you wanted to be a cop. I remember you saying that a bunch of times. Ba -ba -bum. Your gamer eyes light up when you see someone else micromanaging. <laughs> If you still don't know the basics, it's just rotating, blah, 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 blah. Take the first tutorial. Okay, yeah, sure. Build a house. Yes, let's build a house. Let's build a house. Build a couple of different houses. 
There we go. <clears throat> and we'll speed it up. I don't really like the speed up keys being F1 and 2. I much rather have that be like a numpad. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But here it's the um, numpad is all of these. Which I'm not a big fan of. But eh, personal preference, I guess. I, I guess I could change it, maybe. Possibly. Um... Doesn't seem like I can change those buttons. I mean, I can change the these ones, but I cannot change the speed up time one. Ah, that's terrible. Oh well. This is personal preference. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to that, I guess. It is what it is. All right, citizens will die of thirst without water. Build the big well. All right, I will try. Why can I not build a small well, huh? Produces a small amount of water. Can we put out... Can put out fire, fires using the water. Costs 15 and 20. And this one also costs ore. Okay. Costs iron ore. Let's build the big well then. And we'll build it right there. That's a big, big well. Well, 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 would you, would you look at that? Speed up the time a little. <laughs> you were waiting to see how Stroopwafel was spelled? <laughs> well, Lawson wrote it incorrectly, so... <laughs> <laughs> So uh, now you spelled it incorrectly as well. So have fun with that. <laughs> nice. Hey the foodie, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, what do we do now? We built the big well. Please note the production type and processing type buildings will only start to work after selecting the product. Right. Please open the... Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, open a building, product, water. Seriously, do you have to do that for a well also? That seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Why would you have to select the product type for a well? What else are you going to do there? What else are, are you going to use the big well for? Are you going to make it to bake bread? Are you, you going to use it to smelt iron ore? No, <laughs> it's a well. You get water. Why would you have to select that? <laughs> that seems so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> you can remodel it as well. As well. Nice. <laughs> storm waffles yes it's storm waffles yes very good stormy <laughs> lol <laughs> a grand stroop waffling seems in order yes mm -mm -mm. oh yeah there you go exclamation mark stroop waffle so stroop waffle is how you say it in dutch that's the dutch spelling um yeah, in English it's um like W A W A F F L E. But how uh, Daniel wrote it right there with the exclamation mark, the command, that's a uh, Dutch spelling. Stroop Wafel. Alright, let's continue there. Um repairman. Alright. Gonna have to open up a uh, repair shop. How we do that? Resources, services. There we go. Let's do a repair shop right there. Beautiful. 
speed it up again. Because we have to wait for every single one. You like waffles or Russell? I mean, waffles in general are usually a lot different than uh, stroopwafels. So, stroopwafels. <laughs> Combined the Dutch and English there. Mm -hmm. ah. Booster waffle, yeah. You're throwing popcorn at me? There you go. Get some more popcorn. Alright, that's done. Repair thing is done. Do you have to select something there? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, when there are multiple structures under construction, building more builders' cabins, build more build building more builders' cabins or assigning more builders can speed up the process. Okay. Click on the builders' cabin and increase the number of f builders to four. Uh. What's the builder's cabin? Do they mean the repair shop? Is that what they meant? No, that's the repair shop. That's different. I don't think that's what they meant. Where's the builder's thing? This one? Builder's cabin. Huh. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of random. I didn't, I didn't even know what the builder's cabin was. <laughs> in order to survive, food is indispensable. Indispensable? Am I saying that correctly? That sounds like a really weird word to use there. Okay, whatever. Open resources toolbar and build gatherers hut. Um, better to build it near the forest, but not too far away from residential areas. Okay. So you gotta build the gatherers thing. Resources, gatherers hut. And I guess we'll build it. Ba -ba -bum. On this grid. Over here, question mark. <laughs> Please make sure not to use certain language, uh, D. Gray. Keep in mind, we would want to try to keep the channel a place for everybody, not only 18 plus. There we go. All right, prioritize that, speed it up a little bit. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We have enough stone? Uh, oh yeah, here. I usually like it better when you can see resources in the middle of your screen somewhere. I often miss things that are all the way on the left side. Just the way that I'm sitting, I guess. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba. Almost done. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Hey, Violet! Thank you very much for being a member. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. There we go. That's already two members today. Daniela and uh, Violet. Thank you so much. Can we get some hearts in the chat? That'd be awesome.
I don't think the English um, command works for that, Lawson. I think it only works with the with the Dutch spelling. But I should actually change that. I should actually change it to also work with the English spelling. That'll be better. So I'm gonna do that right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget about it. So let's go to Streamlabs Cloudbot, Commands, Strobe Raffle. Uh, advanced keyword. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, an alternative way of triggering the command. Yes. So add exclamation mark. Add alias. There we go. And confirm that. Boom. And we also have an another command, by the way, with a little bit more information. You can also do Stroopwafel Wiki or the Wiki Wikipedia. That's a secondary command that I have. Stroopwafel Wiki. Oh. Wiki. Add that as alias as well. There we go. So now those commands are both in Dutch in Dutch uh, spelling and in English spelling should work anyway there we go and that will give you a link to the um, to the wiki page for a bit more information <laughs> this file was funny uh, let's see but yeah once again thank you very much Violet for being a member there that's awesome I appreciate it all right, Gatherer's Hut has been built. Uh, we probably have to assign more people, so let's do that. There we go. Hunters can get meat for food through hunting, right? And also possibly capture an animal's cup. Ah, that's good, um, I guess. Let's get a Hunter's Hut. Build that one a little bit further out, I guess. Can we change where they hunt? I don't think you can do that in this game. Ah, oh, wait, that's the wrong building. Or maybe you can. This one doesn't seem to have a, a real radius to it, so. There's plenty of animals everywhere, though. Let's just build this one right here. I'll be fine. That will be just fine. Let's clean out this area as well. And also, let's clean out this bit. After that. Oh, you're missing one of the uh, one of the F's there, Lawson. True waffle with two F's. You prioritize it. Yep. Let's do that. Curiosity didn't kill the cat. We just push it off the table or any other place. <laughs> Lol. Ah, right, come on, people, build that thing. <laughs> Takes way too long. Yeah, it's gonna do something about it or what? I mean, they did build it quite far away, I guess. Yeah, there you go, Lawson. Now it worked. Now I can just now you can use the um, the Dutch 
command, I guess, and, uh, and the English version. You enjoy traveling to Amsterdam and Rotterdam, Russell? Awesome. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. East Survival. I guess that's just a tutorial name or something. Alright, keep building it. Oh? Some stream uh, problems, connectivity issues. I think we're back. That's weird. Hopefully it doesn't happen more often. I know that um, Twitch had some problems yesterday with connection. But that's the thing about multi-live streaming. You never know what the issue is. Like maybe it's Twitch because I'm streaming them both. So if one of them decides to stop working, there, that might cause some issues as well. For the uh, Streamlabs application. So you never really know what the problem is. But, uh, it is what it is. There we go, that one's finally built now. Get some more workers in there, I guess. The agriculture tab, uh, two bar, hotkey two and build a farmland okay build farmland build standard fixed size oh that's nice that's cool i mean they want me to build this for some reason so i'll do that i guess do an eight by eight there we go and i guess we'll do another uh, standard one as well <laughs> Citizens may freeze to death without enough fuel. All right, so we need to go to tab three, build a forester. Foresters will cut down full grown trees. So it is not recommended to build it near the gatherer's hut or the hunter's hut. Okay. Will the forester also replant them? It doesn't say that. I hope it does. If Boozer is here, well, I I can wreck someone's day. What? Booster is a bear? I'm not a bear. I may look like a bear. I may have as much hair on my arms as a bear does, but... I'm not a bear. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Bum, ba -da, ba -bum. Later today, I think I'm gonna be playing some more of the uh, Core Keeper. I'll go back to the server and uh, play some more of that. Because there's still one more boss that I haven't defeated. I know someone else has defeated it already. Uh, some of the other players. But I would love to uh, to go and fight that third boss. And then let's see what's uh, beyond the wall. Or I guess explore first with um, like the area where iron can be found. Because I don't i uh i haven't been exploring the dwarven areas too much they are so strong in that game it's crazy all right that one is built awesome add some workers to it and what do we do now now we need chopping house to make uh, fuel okay chopping house chop chop 
Build that right there. I'm gonna build a bridge right here. Just for funsies. There we go. Make some roads. Maybe it will speed things up. I don't know. Might be good. There we go. The availability of tools has a great impact on work efficiency. Build a smithy. Where do we build a smithy? There it is. Build a smithy. All right, let's do that uh, right. Um, right there. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Prioritize that building. Wonderful. Oh, the bridge is already built. It's quick. Like almost instant. Uh, choose material. And we can select domestic fuel. Yeah, what? Dried, dried animal dung. <laughs> okay. And timber. Okay. Just any of them, I guess. <laughs> Lol. Um. Get another person working there. Get some people working here. And a smithy is built. And let's have tools be made there. We got Ruby and Gale working there. Awesome. Isn't build bridges, not walls. <laughs> let's build bridges, not walls. Oh, wow, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> that's some uh, that's some bad typing right there <laughs> did you use autocorrect or something oh my uh, let's build a tailor I mean I can't say nothing because my my English is uh, terrible sometimes when I have to write something I use um, I use a program on my uh on my web browser uh, called Grammarly, I think it's called. Uh, just a free version. I'm not. I'm not paying anything. I'm Dutch, uh, <laughs> but that works really well. It really helps me out with uh, writing in English. I mean, I'm not terrible at it, but it definitely helps writing more important emails and stuff to game developers and, uh, and stuff like that. Grammarly reminds you that you're an idiot. <laughs> well, you know, we all need some help sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we Dutch people pay for things too. <laughs> well, yeah. If we have to. If we have to, we will. If we don't have to, if there's another free option that doesn't mean breaking the law, then we'll do it. For sure, without doubt. Without a doubt. Services. Let's build a church. Heck yeah, brother. Build a church. The heck is that? The llama? Alpaca? What's that? Is it an alpaca or is it a llama or something? I don't know. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them and there's geese. Nice. I like that the game is filled with so much, uh, so much life. 
pretty cool. Cool stuff. Well, who doesn't like a good deal? Yeah, exactly, Craftjoy. Exactly. You're watching on the phone, Norman? Yeah. <laughs> English isn't that hard. There are many ways their language is useful over there. What? They are many ways their language is used over there. Were you, <laughs> were you on purpose writing that that way? <laughs> I got really confused writing, uh, reading that. <laughs> really confused. <laughs> they, they are there, there, yeah. I have it with uh, with you are your and stuff like that. Actually, so someone on Twitter was uh, was correcting me yesterday. That's so stupid. I, I I like how people correct you on grammar when they have nothing better to say, like when they know they're losing an argument or something, and then they start correcting your grammar all of a sudden. They're, I I'm like, okay. You win this round, but I have won what is more important. <laughs> you win the first round, but I have won the game, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh yeah, we need to choose a crop. Lettuce. Let us choose these seeds. And we'll do some uh, chili seeds or broccoli. Yeah. I mean... Let's go over broccoli. Sure, why not? Not a big fan of broccoli, but let's do it. It's fine. You are great. You're great. That's your game. Yeah. It's confusing sometimes. But that's with a lot of languages. Like... Uh, or, or like French or like other languages that have the same word with like 10 different meanings. Let's build a distillery. Where's the distillery? Wine can be imp uh, can improve the happiness of the citizens. Mm-hmm. And why would I want to improve their happiness? What is that going to do for me? Normal city happiness. Citizens are happy and warm. Lowest potential crime. Lower unwilling to procreate. Low. Work efficiency minus 20%. Normal. No effects. Okay, so, okay, yeah. So from lowest. From lowest to highest. Okay. Work efficiency. Per happiness after 100%. Church, theater, alcohol, candy. Candy? Heck yeah. Stroop waffles. Uh, I, well, it's not really candy, but sure. And fancy food. Oh yeah, Stroop waffles are fancy food. Yep. Definitely helps out. Definitely helps. Spiritus. Here we go. Um, product of multiple recipes can be automatically changed to the feasible recipe according to the items in stock. Okay. If you have materials that you don't want to be consumed, you can uncheck the recipes. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't really care about that at all. That's fine. Clinics improve health of the residents in the area. Citizens who are sick and need clinics to treat their illnesses. Right. Sure, sure. Built that. Ba -da -da -da. Trying to explain the hat and to people so they know when they use done and alls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, explaining those Dutch words is also, uh, oh. I, I, I wouldn't know how to really explain it properly on when to use those. 
<laughs> I'm terrible with uh, with grammar in general, so. I think my grammar for English is actually better sometimes than my Dutch. <laughs> I feel like that's the case anyway. The evolution of languages is amazing. First we had the hieroglyphs that use pictures to tell a story. Then we use letters. Now kids these days are using modern hieroglyphs called emojis. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And don't forget about comic books with pictures only, no text. Those are the best. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, come on, build it. There we go. Now that you have understood how to ensure this is survival, uh, this isn't survival, the advanced tutorial will show you how to develop technology and trading. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. Dutch was your worst grade in school. You were better in German and English. French was difficult for you too. I only had uh, Dutch, obviously Dutch, English, and um, and German. I never had French in high school. I only had two two years of German, and after that, I never had it again. So I kind of forgot everything about the German language. <laughs> That's fun. Why do these tutorials not automatically have roads? I feel like they should have to speed things up. And make it look nicer as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna immediately build some roads here quickly. Speed things up a little bit. There we go. That's the market right there. We have a well. Choose a recipe. Um, builders. Signing out a worker there. Speed things up. Ba -ba -ba. You made a game suggestion in your Discord called Camp Cannon Canyon Wood. You manage a summer camp. Lead the kids upgraded. Warning, there are bears. Uh oh. So what do you what do you do in that camp canyon wood? Do you push kids off into the canyon or something? Is that what you're supposed to be doing? Sounds like, uh, you know, sounds like a fun game. Many materials require technology to be harvested or produced. Select the fishing dock. All right. Where? Where do we select the fishing dock? There we go, agriculture. Wait. <laughs> Agriculture... Isn't agriculture just plants? Just plant-based? Or does fishing also... Is fishing also included in agriculture? I feel like that's not right, right? Or am I wrong? I might be wrong about that, but it doesn't feel like it should be... Uh, Agriculture. Planks is necessary. Planks are necessary for building a fishing dock. They cannot be obtained directly by gathering. You will need a sawmill. Right. Uh, oh. We have to unlock it first. My goodness. That's a very bright wide screen. Oh my god. My, ga my gamer eyes cannot handle this bright wide screen. Jeez, that's terrible. 
Uh, um, <laughs> where am I looking at? What are we doing? What am I looking at? Sawmill and technology under construction. Oh, jeez. Sawmill. Activate. Oh, my God. I hate when, the, when games have such a bright white menu. I'm already white enough. With a white screen like that, I'm not. E you guys can't even see me anymore on the webcam. <laughs> I just disappear. Just a bright light. Open the processing and build a sawmill. Wait, this is automatically. Okay, that's quick. We do a water sawmill too. Hmm. I'd rather build that if possible. He doesn't want me to do that though. But I want to do it. Can only build it on straight areas, I guess. Build one right there. I guess let's build both. There we go. I'll build another road. There we go. I'll speed things up a little bit. You're the head camp counselor and you're helping kids. We got badges, fishing, hiking, trapping, etc. Oh, might be fun. Might be fun to play. We'll take a look at it. Good, good far farming like animals. I get they. If they get hurt uh, too often you, or you aren't having fun or they aren't having fun, they will call their parents to leave early. And you have an issue, an issue, if they issue a refund. Oh, I see. Agriculture, fish farm. Yeah. I don't know. It just sounds weird to me. For some reason, I associate agriculture with only plant based stuff, I guess. Probably just a me issue. Got some more people working there. There we go. And what now? Open a sawmill. Um. Wait. Oh, over here. Oh, I see. I didn't see that one. So there's different taps. Hmm, okay. All right, it's different taps. I thought it would just show up underneath each other. Autumn has arrived. Time for harvest. Well, really? <laughs> Interim housing can accommodate up to 24 people. Ooh. That's a lot of them. There's only a family of four. Um, however, overcrowded interim housing will cause the loss of desire to procreate. Okay. I see. Alright, fishing dock is complete. Nice. Let's choose fish. Have more people work there. There we go. And now what? When you think the generation 
speed of attack xp is slow develop the education first can greatly improve the output of attack xp okay please unlock the research institute in technology education hotkey six toolbar and build furry research institutes uh hotkey six i don't see it oh unlock it first oh right 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 unlock it um how did we do that again up here okay or press t so education research institute activate there you go hotkey six and now there it is i see i see i see i see ah oh, i can't build it right there not enough space all right i'll build that one there that one there and we'll build uh i guess another one right there that'll be fine wonderful i kind of remember doing all of this tutorial now from the demo potato no it's potato It's potato, not potato, Stormy. Obviously. Or fries. Fries is also good. Hmm. Something in, something in my water. Or my uh, cola, I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> No, it's art apple. Yes, it's art apple. Please. Potatoes, you can boil them, mash them, stick them in your stew. True. True, true, true. Yeah, ferret one's almost done. I thought this one was gonna teach us about trading, but it's just been building other stuff. When multiple research institutes or academies uh, with multiple, the output of tech points will be much faster. You can further boost its output by using paper or books let's wait till the tech point is generated by tech point generated technology icon at the top of the screen shows you the progress of the current speed okay all right so we can slowly see it turn blue over time that gives us a tech point uh and i'll Okay, we have seven points right now. I see. I see. Education, paper. This technology may need materials unlo unlocked by tech agriculture read. So we need a read for that first. Uh huh. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of technology to uh, to unlock. I like it. Good stuff. All right, there we go. Merchant ships will stop by the dock after building it. You can trade for goods with the merchant ship using your own silver coins or goods. Please unlock the dock in technology. Trade and build the dock. Trade. Dock, unlock. What's this then? 
Model caravan insurance. Mm -mm -mm, pottery. I don't need any of that, it seems. Doesn't look like we need it. And now we can uh, build the dock. Where's the dock? Here it is. There we go. That's a big boy right there. Um, how do we build that? So most of it is on... Uh, most of it has to be on land. It's always difficult to build these kind of things. Hey, it's either too close. It's either cannot place there, cannot place there, cannot place there. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Did we not terraform? Wasn't that an option? Um, I thought there was a way to terraform or something. I really need that right now, man. <laughs> so annoying. Can build it across the pond, maybe? Yeah, we can build it right here. All right, let's build it there, even though they can't get there. Um, <laughs> and now we'll do a bridge, I guess. There you go. That's one way to do it. fish there apparently so i wonder where the merchant will come from from either way doesn't matter and i wonder if the if the bridge will stop them or if they will just go through i am your hero d gray that's good to hear that's awesome Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're working hard on it. Look at them run. Oh, there's fishes. The fish just disappeared all of a sudden. That's cool. Jumping out of the water. Appearing and disappearing randomly. Mm -hmm. The places I place things are generally less optimal, but you're learning. Yeah, I find it hard in uh, in games like this to to build efficiently. <laughs> and there we go. They're working on it. They're getting it done. Just a little bit more. But they're actually like moving all over the place. Moving from place to place. Some of them anyway. Just hammering on nothing. <laughs> there we go. Nice. The dock is done. You can trade with various factions through the trading structures. Select the small trading posts in the storage toolbar and build it. What? 
I just built the dock. Are we not going to work on that? <sighs> Literally just built that thing. All right, let's build this one then. It's like they don't even care. They let you build something and then they don't explain how it works. Figure it out for yourself. Maybe they'll teach me after building the smaller one first. It's weird though, they want you to build the dock, but... <laughs> Strange. Merchants will come to the dock every... Uh, every a period of time. What? With goods that can be purchased. The workers will transport purchased or ordered items to the warehouse. Hmm. But I mean, we can sell stuff there. Stuff that's being produced. Like planks. Trade. Number of items reserved for survival. Items will not be transported to trade the buildings when lower than this number. Can we shift click? Control? No. I have to left click this. That's annoying. 250. And trade. I don't know. Also click that. Oh my goodness. Let's also do 50. There we go. Oh. Great stuff. Alright, you can check your reputation to various uh, factions after owning the building. After, And you can increase your reputation through trade. Uh... Where do we check this? Our reputation, where? I'm confused. View your reputation by pressing C, okay. And there we go, here we can see all of it. Hey Turia, good to see ya. Hello, hello. These are all the different traders that I. Eh? Oh, there's a merchant ship. Uh, form a caravan in a building menu of a, of the small trading post. All right, well, first, the merchant ship has docked. We can sell 50 of those. Need to choose merchants good at the same price. Oh, it's... Tr okay, it's trading. Uh... So it's not selling. It's trading. Right. Well, I don't want any of that. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. Dismiss deal then. Half you. Right, form a caravan. To form a caravan after selecting the trading, after selecting a trading faction and items if you have enough laborers. What? Form a caravan to... I don't know this one. Caravan members. Sure. More people in the caravan lowers the risk of death. A prolonged trade time. Risk of death. 128%. <laughs> I 
128. Wow. What a number. The second one is 32. 14, 8, 5, 3. Come on, give me that zero percent risk of death. Come on. Come on, zero percent. Give me the zero percent. Ah, we did it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sending 114 people away for zero percent risk of death. That's ridiculous. They need to adjust that a lot that's ridiculous uh, I mean it's only a small percentage anyway with only 19 it's only like a really tiny percentage there 10 is 1% all right here we go let's do the 7 I guess and selling items I mean I don't know what should we be selling sell potatoes sell potatoes buying I don't know herbs or something form there's no laborer. What do I mean there's no laborer? Oh, we need to go down to four. There we go. Yeah, that worked. The market prices would uh, fluctuate when trading with other factions. And prices vary from one faction to another. You can open up the market prices menu by pressing the V key or clicking on the trading post to have a look at the prices of different factions. Price. Oh, I see. There we go. All right, good, good, good. And we can unlock the Great Palace, the Jingyu, the Shi Xianyu. Dense forests, dense farm, private school, bamboo. I like to make kind of a Chinese town then. That's nice. Make different looking towns or parts of the towns, I guess. Dying mill. I'm dying to know what that does. Cactus, guava, city and mine, seed trade, Chishanitsa, Templo Mayor, Mineral Rich, Carlos, <laughs> Antonio. Doesn't really look like a Carlos to me, but okay, sure, whatever. Sure thing. Let's continue. Let's wait for the merchant ship to arrive. Alright, so we're gonna have to speed up the game. Wait, isn't there a merchant ship already? There already is one. Alright, let's dismiss this one, I guess, because it doesn't work. Oh, maybe I should... Okay, wait, another one arrives. When a merchant ship docks, click on a merchant ship or the dock to conduct trading. Okay. And then what? Need a trade? Transaction. Do it. Alright, that was a terrible deal. But we learned. There we go, we're done. Yes, we're through the tutorial now. Hey, Christy. How you doing? Good to see everybody still watching. I see uh, 23 people watching in total on YouTube and Twitch combined. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting that like button. 
I very much appreciate it. And now, let's finally get into the game. We've done the tutorial, so now let's start playing the game. Oh, we can do story mode. Story Easter Island. Trees grow slowly. Structures that grow. Trees are disabled. Oh, are disabled in this scenario. Easter Island is a sea island, so land trade is disabled. Interfalls between sea trading stations is increased. Mm -hmm. Might be interesting, but uh, I don't think that will be good for a first go. Looks very interesting, though. I kind of want to give it a try. Special structures? What does that mean? Rubik's Cube and Goof Off Hero. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not sure what what's the point of that. Let's not do that. Let's do normal mode. Don't want to deal with too many disasters, but let's keep it on default. Initial population, sure. Initial cups? Like, okay, whatever. Temperature, starting seed still. <clears throat> Lifespan, normal, I guess. Um, all right, a randomized map. Ba -ba -ba. Lakes one. Lakes one, lake zero. Okay, lake size is medium. Rivers can't even adjust that. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's do a default game. Aha! WASD to find a good place on the map for your settlement. So we can only build in this square. I guess. Kind of want to build here. You know, it's probably not the best place to start. Let's start. Let's start right here instead. Starting spot. There we go. Oh, okay. It places down. Builder's cabin, storage. Okay, it places all of those things down immediately. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, get it out of here. I see. Um. If I knew that, I would have done it a bit differently, but okay. Doesn't matter. Um, roads. We can make tunnels, bridges, remove roads. So how do you landscape? Because in the videos that I've seen of the game, it's possible to landscape. But none of the tutorials taught us how to do it. And I would love to do it. Maybe that's only in like creative mode or something, sandbox mode. Maybe that's the only mode where it's possible. I guess. All right, let's gather all resources in the area. Let's clean this place out. How doing there, Happy? Good to see you. Let's get to work. Come on, people. Go, go, go. Get some dirt roads. Or actually, uh, stone roads, I mean. Stone road all the way around to start off with. Now we're gonna need some regular housing. There we go, that will help for sure. Speed it up a little bit.
And then next we're gonna need ourselves at least a standard field. And an orchard. Oh, what is this? Peculiar sapling. A young lumberjack was standing to the trees around a lumber yard as usual when he found several crooked trees that were not suitable for further processing to become wood. But perhaps they could be used as decorative trees if transplanted. <clears throat> Would you like to cut them down? Cut them down, dig them out and transplant them as decorative trees. Sure. So the orchard 8x8 eight eight as well. Ba, ba, ba. Build some more stone roads. All the way around. Very nice. We got some houses. We have some tasks up there that will help us get coins. Looks like. Get some more builders. Let's assign some farmers here. And let's choose lettuce. Let us choose those. Let's also do some orchard people. Pear tree. All right. Sure. Why not? Why not? Gather some supplies over here. Will that chase the animals away? Getting rid of all those trees? I don't know. Might. Might do that, I guess. Not sure. Windmills in the chat? Yeah. Would love some windmills in the chat. It's awesome. I don't know if you can build a windmill. I haven't seen that in the tutorial. I hope it's possible. Let's go to farming. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Well, windmill. Construction? Question mark. No processing. No. no. I don't think so. No bakery and bread. It seems. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I don't think so. There's still so many homelessness. All right, let's build one of these guys. Ooh, that's a big one. There we go. Build one of them. One of them bad boys. And from here, a little bit too much. There we go, two bridges right there. That's perfect. I want to do a bridge here first, but this is slightly better. And get across all the way over there. Warehouses and store yards, storage yards are full. All right, we need to build some more then. Um, small marketplace. Don't need that storage chart. We can adjust the size of that ourselves. Too large. What do you mean too large? It's not such a thing. What's the max capacity then? Ten. All right, ten is the max capacity. It seems.
make it a 4 by 10. Should be plenty for now. Already bigger than what we have here, so... Just a little, a little bit better. These trees are not... Oh god, that's annoying. They're much closer to the road there than they are there. Same thing over here. That's annoying. It grinds my gears. Oh well. We'll survive. Look at my people working hard. Look at them all building away. We have a home now. Won't be able to procreate in this one, I think. Only in those, but that's fine. Got a couple of houses. There we go. Get a lot more of them. A lot more houses. They'll be good for the future. And let's get some more food source then. Gonna need a pasture. Cannot be placed here. Oh, because of the mountain. I see. Build right there. Perfect. Make it look nice. Oh, and we should build a well. Build a well right there. And let's build a bigger well. Right here. I guess. I'm not sure if it has to be close to the house. I don't know if there's like a certain radius they can walk or not. Uh, hunters will hunt the nearest animals for meat and fat and leather. All right. Build that one here. Gatherers will gather wild vegetables, agrave and herb within the structure's range. Wild vegetables generally grow near mature trees. Uh-huh. Yeah, so let's build that one. Let's build that one. I guess we can build it up here. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Sure, why not? Build it over there. You're constructing a gatherer's hut, which is an area structure. Gatherers can uh, gather food, herbs that grow near an er a nearby area. It's also possible to obtain crop seeds that can be grown in the field. Note that plants only grow around trees. If there are no trees, there are is nowhere to gather. Okay. Yeah, so we should not remove all the trees in that area. That'd be bad. That's basically what they're saying. Oh. Uh, Wrong building that I wanted to get rid of. Or wrong menu. Choose water to be produced in the well. Like what else? <laughs> What's this? Uh, oh, it doesn't grow in this season. I see. Raw materials. Oh, we could do flex as well. Can we change the degree Celsius instead of Fahrenheit? Is that possible? Um, temperature, there we go. Celsius. There we go. Much better. <laughs> At least then I understand the temperatures.
From 1 to 48. Yeah, okay. 1 to 48, same. Doesn't matter then which one I do. Then it doesn't matter. Ah. I keep thinking this is the um, orchard window. Because they're on top of each other. Let's bring that task one over there. Or maybe down here instead. There you go. Our citizens are thirsty. Well or reservoir need, needed to solve this. I have both of those. What do you mean? The big well is the resource to uh, resource toolbar. Is in the resource toolbar. Reservoir is there too. But need technology livable clean water to unlock. Okay. Technology livable clean water. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, we don't have that just yet, I guess. Sand mining unlocks the reservoir. Much, uh, which can be used to produce drinking water. All right, let's activate it, I guess. Why not? I need mean, sand for that or something. I don't even know if I have that. I don't even know how to collect sand. But we have the wells. So that shouldn't be a problem. Hungers, uh, citizens are hungry. Do we have enough food production? Let's see. 26... We have 1,400 food. What do you mean they're hungry? We have so much. We have a hunter as well. Let's add some more hunters. Forester. Should probably get one of those. Get a road going there. Very nice. Build two standard fields. Oh, they want us to do two standard fields? Okay. Let's build another one then. Another standard field right there. All look nice. And make this go around again. Around and around we go. Oh, I actually don't have any uh, water right now. Don't have anything to drink. Um, BRB, hold on. Let me get something. Mm -hmm. There we go. You're working and lurking, so limited typing. Well, I'm glad you're here, Christy. Thanks for hanging out. And good luck at work as well. There we go. Now I got some cold water. Much better. Ah, all right. Standard fields done. Uh, so let's assign a crop there. Assign some more people working there. Oh no, we have no laborers apparently. Oh, we should have plenty of houses. Um.
city stress housing? There's stress about the housing issue? What, what do you mean? Got so many houses. We even got this one, which is completely empty. I don't think there should be a problem there. Kind of weird. Right, let's get more houses, I guess. There we go. Three more. Makes it look kind of nice. But then we will also need more uh, food sources again. Probably. So let's do a fishing dock. So one fishing dock there. And let's do a fishing dock. Right there. Do some dirt roads. Might also look nice. In between all the stone. Hey, how you doing there, Lewis? Welcome back. We have no animals hunted yet. Um, wasn't the hunter also capable of capturing them? Or am I wrong? Oh, what's this? Autumn excursion. Harvest season is coming. Fruits in the wild ripened and sturdy weeds by the river can also be collected. Some citizens intend to go out to search for some of the supplies in the wild. Where should they head to? Into the forest or to the riverside? Well, depending on what time period this is, most people probably can't swim. So uh, let's not choose. <laughs> Apparently. Uh... Tr trigger event there we go <laughs> we didn't even have time to choose let's go into the forest there were many ripe wild fruits and shrubs and they came back with a good harvest awesome wild vegetable thousands nice good stuff it's a lot of good food i like it <laughs> let's get another one of these gatherers up in there uh somewhere Maybe. Let's get um eh, up there. There we go. Build a little road going there. Keep them busy. Get some services. Oh, I might need a cemetery at some point. There we go. Build a little cemetery. Let's do a clinic. Perfect fit right there. Repair a shop. Uh, another builder's cabin. Probably what we should have as well. There we go. Town hall. Central building of the town where you can accept immigrants and recruit an administrator. Let's build that right there. Perfect. Very nice. And I would like to have another orchard here. Another 8x8. Um, 
Actually, this will be a smaller one then. Da -da 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 -da. This one too. I'll we'll have to go do this. Build some roads around them. Make sure we have plenty of food. Now we're getting some more kits. Awesome. Oh, they're freezing. Close one standard field. Why should I do that? There we go. Just teaching us. Forester, gatherer's hut, hunter. Oh yeah, chopping house. We don't have that one yet. We need a chopping house. For, um... Chopping house can process timber and dried animal down. Okay, yeah. Or firewood. That's important. It's pretty important. Do that right there. Ba -ba -ba. And let's also do maybe a... Uh, oh, we don't have that one unlocked yet. We need to go to construction. Processing. Oh, there's the mill. We do have a windmill. Awesome. Yeah, we do have a windmill. Heck yeah. Logistics. Up, up, uh, livable tents. Uh, the tent is not restricted by the market scoop, but cannot be upgraded. What? A rough tent for free person family, which consumes few construction materials. The, c the citizens can rest, eat, drink here, and fuel can be used to provide heat. Can be built far away from the marketplace. Okay. Why would you want to do that? Police station. Soap fermenting. School research. Unlock that one, I guess. It's important. Mining quarry. Uh, refining fuel. Sawmill, there we go. And <laughs> toilet. Remodel toilet. <laughs> Windmills, now we're talking. Yeah, exactly. That's the good stuff. That's what we've all been waiting for. Alright, come on, people. We need more. We don't have enough people working. Or uh, available, I guess. Um. Water fetchers. Hunters. Let's remove two of them and let's add two more builders that will speed it up a little bit and it'll we'll have to remember to add more hunters later when we have more adults and I have to make sure we do that later now a couple of dikes and we're golden exactly Trading station, a sea ship, uh, a shipyard, a couple of dikes, tulip fields. Mm -hmm. 
I'm uh, really excited about the, uh, about a uh, one game, that pirate game that's coming out soon. Um, what is this called again? I forgot the name. Anyone know what I'm talking about? A pirate game that's coming out, <laughs> like in the in the, um, in the Indian Ocean and stuff like that. Indian Ocean, Australia, Africa, like everywhere in between. And there's also Dutch outposts. Uh, which is the, the, the enemy, I guess. Because you are a pirate, so, you know, you're not... Skull and Bones. I think that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm really excited about that. Because then you can actually see, like, tulip fields. And you can see windmills in the distance and stuff like that. That's so cool. And all the ships, the Dutch ships. Gotta be fun to see that. But a lot of people, and me included, are also um, kind of sad about the fact that it's it's only ship sailing and like ship combat. But I, as far as I'm aware, you cannot actually go do um uh do like uh actual combat with your person if you're a pirate you cannot go into combat just walking around on an island as far as i'm aware you can only do combat by like ship and stuff like that but we'll have to see what happens But a lot of people are a bit upset about that. Oh, we have no construction materials. Well, yeah, that will be a problem. No construction materials is uh, definitely a problem if you want to build stuff. Wish I realized that sooner. Yeah, now they're building stuff. Chopping down trees. Getting stone. Now they're building all of it. The PvP multiplayer they showed on the demo trailer was so intense, yeah. It looks really cool, the combat. It looks it looks very real. Looks pretty cool. I'm excited. Even though a lot of people say it's like a bad version of Sea of Thieves, but to be honest, everything that I have seen in that trailer makes me think the opposite. It makes me think that this game... Is it gonna be better for me than Sea of Thieves? Because I don't like Sea of Thieves. I I don't enjoy the um, the online like the automatic like online servers that you're in. I always get get spawn killed by other players and stuff like that in the game. So Sea of Thieves is for me. It's just a no go. I. I don't like it because I don't get to play it. The only thing I get to do is respawn, get killed, respawn again, get killed. <laughs> it's a terrible game for me. So I'm really happy that this game, Skull and Bones, uh, they already announced that you can play single player if you want to. You can play it single player, you can invite friends, but you don't have to play online with people all over the world in one server. You can just play single player or invite a couple of friends to your game, um, as far as I understand it. So that's what I'm really excited about. The fact that you don't get spawn killed. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm asking for in games. It's the only thing I'm asking for. I just want to have a good time. I just want to have fun. I don't want to have to keep respawning. Yeah, what is this? What's going on? 
Uh, without tools. Okay, we don't have any tools, apparently. Let's see, can we make a smithy? Let's get a smithy. Um, do we have any iron? Uh, it looks like we have. I don't know how they got it, because I, I don't know where you can find some. You just find it randomly in stones? Question mark? No idea. I mean, I know you can uh, mine for it. Gonna need a uh, mining facility then. Let's see, silver, quarry. Uh, output for stone, sand mining. Mining in general. Can produce iron and coal. Okay, there we go. Let's get that. Let's build a mine. It has to be... Like, in the mountain like that. Perfect place right there. Let's prioritize that one. I guess. See what happens. <laughs> Pirates always fights, probably only PvP, yeah. Well, um not PvP only. PvP it's not it's not only against players, right? It's also PvE against just a computer. Because that's what the uh, the outposts are, right? There's like Dutch outposts, English outposts um, for trading. And you as a pirate have to hit those and steal their, their stuff, right? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Prioritize that one too. Oh, we needed iron to build that. Luckily, we already have some. What's all of this? Clinic. Man, we're in a big, a bit of a pickle here. See, Thieves is beautiful, but you don't like the PvP griefing aspect? Yeah. Yeah, I, ha I hate. I literally hate that about Sea of Thieves. It looks really good. I like the idea of, you know, fighting other pirates and stuff like that. But I want it to be fighting a computer. I don't want it to be fighting 10 different teams working together to grieve you, <laughs> for example. It, 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 it's not how it works in Sea of Thieves. Like that, that's not really how it works, but just to give an exaggeration example, exaggerated example. Uh, after the spring, the sky cleared, beautiful rainbow, temperature warmed. Perhaps you can pray this year will be warm. Okay, sure, let's pray, whatever. Stupid. Stormydale, you agree? Um, makes you want to go back to Black Flag again. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that Black Flag seems better than, um, than Skull and Bones. They were saying that Skull and Bones is a ripoff of Black Flag and Sea of Thieves. Or something. This game looks fun. It is pretty fun. It's not it's not complete yet. It is an early access game, I believe. Um, so there's a bunch of things that definitely need improvement. But it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Right, they're building the smithy now. They're working on it. They're working on the mine too. Oh! 
Uh, everybody died. What? <laughs> Why? Why did everybody die? <laughs> what happened? What the heck? Dude. We only have one child left. Oh, that's rip. Let's wait around for her to die as well. Got someone to drink. How does a child outlive all those others? I mean, honestly, how does a child do that? Respect. Respect. Also, why did they die? I have 2,000 food. They froze to death? Yeah, I didn't have the chopping house. Well, I had the chopping house, but I didn't have anyone assigned to it, I think. Was too late with building it. <sighs> oh well. All right, restart. <laughs> I really liked our town. Our town was looking so good, but I didn't save it at any point. Is there no auto save for the game? That's terrible. I need to add auto save. Down. Um, I mean, I can, I can look back and find the seed. Let's see. I'm going to go back into my live stream. And I'm going to see if we can find the seed for this one. Randomize that. Alright, there we go. Found it. So it's five seven six six zero seven six zero eight. Yeah, that's one. Should be the same map. There we go. <laughs> I really like that map. I really liked our little town that we had. Right, hopefully that will be the same. <laughs> yes, it is. Awesome, awesome. Um, I mean, we won't be able to get it exactly the same because I don't remember like which where I started this. Um, but I guess let's do approximately just uh, somewhere, somewhere around here, I guess. They'll be fine. There we go. Let's gather supplies. All around the area. Gather everything. We have three builders. Let's get a fourth one. Put the tasks there. Actually, let's put the tasks up there. 
so I can keep an eye on them a little bit better. Maybe right there. Yeah. A little bit higher up. You believe there's an auto save in the settings? No. Oh. Do that as well. One hour? The default for autosave is one hour? Who are these developers? What are you doing? Why do you put that on an hour? Put it on 10 minutes for now. You're gonna lose so much progress if the game crashes and if, if it's only a one hour. Okay. There we go, apply that. That'll be good. <laughs> Thanks, uh, JX, I appreciate it. Thank you. And good to see you as well. Never ends, good to see you too. I didn't see you before, my bad, sorry. Ba -ba -ba. Build ourselves a little thingy around this again. And we're going to do approximately the same thing. We'll just do some... Uh, we'll do some housing right here. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba Immediately more houses. In the back of it. There we go. And I also want to build one of these bad boys again, just in case. There we go. I think this is going to actually start looking a lot better than it did before. All right, let's speed it up a little bit now. A little bit extra. And let's first get some more builders. There we go, got more builders. Get a better storage yard. There we go. Lots of things to build. Beat it up a bit. Yeah, we're going to have to go for the woodcutter quick. But more importantly, food. Standard field right there. Another standard field there. Then we'll do an orchard. We'll do an orchard. We don't have to use them all yet. Or I guess we can have one person in each one. Why are these instantly built and not these ones? I guess it's because there's trees in the way or something? It's probably the reason. Alright, and then I, uh, let's do a forester first. Let's do a forester back here. There we go. Build a dirt road towards it. Yeah. 
There we go. <clears throat> Stone road around that. Oh, get this back here. Standard field. Yeah, working on it. Or close one. Alright, there we go. Build a big well. I was gonna follow this tutorial. Gonna build a big one there. Gonna be build a smaller one there, just like I did earlier. We're gonna need that chopping house. Put a chopping house right there. That's for the for what we didn't have earlier <laughs> for fuel. There we go. That'll be good. All right, select water. Because otherwise they don't know what to do with a well for some reason. They're very smart people. Build a forester. Yep, already working on it. Already working on that. Awesome. All right, basic things for survival all are already set. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We're gonna hopefully do a lot better with this one. <laughs> Get a pasture in here. Ba, 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 ba. And it's already b almost built. Boom. Oh yeah, gatherer's hut. Forgot about that. So yeah, let's build that one back here again. <clears throat> and let's do that road. Country road. There we go. Very nice. That'll be good stuff. <clears throat> and the gatherer's hut will be built. Um, all trees, plant trees enabled. What is this? Skill honing. Some artisans from another place passed through the town and wanted to engage in collaborate, collaborative learning with the locals. Everything here is so beautifully made. Your craftsmanship is very advanced. Can you show me your tools? Um, hone their skills by collaborative learning. Need steel tools for that. Refuse them. I mean, I don't have it. I want to say yes, but I, apparently I'm not allowed. <laughs> Take me home to the place I... Oh, darn song stuck in my head now. <laughs> yep. I literally always think about that. When uh, someone says, take me home. Or I hear it. That's the only thing I can think about. Let's get some more houses up in there. There we go. We need more people eventually. So might as well. They're working on this. We don't have enough construction materials. Is there not a notification for that? Is there no notification for... Hey, dude, you're out of construction materials. You need to get some. There should be. If there isn't, then there should be. For sure. There's a lot less stone than there was earlier. It's in different places, I think. 
Some of the stone and the trees got switched around. Lurking mode engaged. Good luck lurking. Yeah, one of the bridges has been built. Nice. Ba -ba -ba. People are happy. Ish. There we go. That bridge is going to be built soon. Uh, wait, halt over here because we want there to be trees in this area. We don't want all the trees to be cut down over there. That'll be bad for us. Oh, and it's winter. Or autumn, I guess, and becoming winter. Wait, is it winter? It looks like it's autumn. Right here. Oh yeah, right here. Not here. <laughs> it's October. Yeah, okay. It's becoming winter, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. No laborers. These kids need to grow up. Get a cemetery. Cannot place it here. Place it there then. Good spot for it. And I guess we could do a church next to it. That would make sense. In a school, children between eight and nine will go to school for education. Um, students who live far away from school will take longer to graduate. They are more efficient in work after graduation. Right. Let's go ahead and do that. Sounds good to me. That'll be really helpful if they are better at their job. And right, this has been built. We're working on the gathering thing finally. Took a little while. Red, blue, Norman, Rob blew up their fortress in seven days to die last night. Turned into rubble. Ba, 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 ba. How'd they do that? By accident, I imagine. Citizens freezing. Well, we have... We have fuel being made. Blue Bell had a rocket launcher. They're done with the game until the next update. Ah, I see. So it wasn't like a mistake or blown up by the enemy or something. Just blew it up on purpose. There we go, we got that one now. Oh yeah, we don't have a hunter yet. 
That was one of the first things I got before. Get a hunter over here. There we go. What else do we have yet? Fishing dock. There we go. Perfect placement. Am I going to watch the Artemis launch? What is the Artemis? I have no idea. Is that a rocket or something? I have no idea what it is. I'm not really interested in NASA or SpaceX or any of that launches. If if I if I'm like what if I'm if I see it like um if I see it on YouTube on a live stream or something, then I usually will click it if it's on the homepage. I will take a quick look, but otherwise I don't really care much about launches like that. It's a mega rocket moon launch according to NASA. A mega rocket moon launch. What does it even mean? <laughs> Are they going back to the moon? With a mega rocket? It'll make history? Uh, I doubt it. We'll, we'll make history as an epic failure, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, at this point, like... Is it even that special anymore? I mean... We have launched so many rockets at this point. So many satellites into space, so many rockets, so many successful things happened. Like, eh. I mean, it's cool, but it's not like new or something. I don't know. Buzzwords. Should watch the Space Force. So funny. I've watched that one. But apparently they're not going to make another uh, season. They, they quit it after one season or something. Or whatever. How many there are on Netflix right now. I think it's only one season, right? I would have loved to see more of it. But uh, they, they stopped. They're going to put a colony on the moon. Are they really... Is that really what they're doing? If that's the case, then yeah, that, that is more interesting. But I didn't hear about it until now. So I guess the media hasn't really picked up on it or something. Or at least not in the Netherlands, I should say. <laughs> There's a new space season of space, uh, space Force. Well, recently? I know there was... I, I think, yeah, I think there are two of them or something, but... I don't know exactly. All right, hold on. But yeah, I really liked that uh, that series. It was fun. It was really funny. But no, I, I've, ne I've never heard about the Artemis launch before today, so I don't know what it is about, what they're planning on doing. I'm not really in the loop on those kind of things. Mm -mm -mm. Warehouses are full. We have somebody working there. We have only 23 adults right now. Zero students. No laborer for the hunter. Need a repair shop too. Okay, 
Yep, more houses. Make sure we have enough. They are all happy. That's good. Low city health. Have I ever watched The Office? Uh, no, I don't think so. Don't think I've seen that one. Oh, there we go. We have some more dolls, I think, now. Uh, so let's put those... At least one in there. And let's put one of them in there. We can have some kids studying. There we are, now we have students. And then they'll be better workers later. Ba, 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 da, ba. <laughs> I think it's funny that those ships just go through the, through the bridges. They should allow me to do like a gate thing. Just add a gate to it or something. Should allow me to do that. Not a lot of games do that. Which is sad because it's such a cool thing to have. It's cool seeing a ship go through one of those gates. One of them is freezing. Warehouse full. Now yeah, we need to get a, an actual warehouse. Uh, where is that? Trading, mining, processing, logistics, warehouse. There you go. Seller, sure, activate that as well. Why not? Transfer station, what does that do? Transfer station can store items, workers inside will transport stored items to warehouses outside of range. There, let's just unlock a couple of things. We have a small warehouse now, a big warehouse. Let's get the big boy warehouse. Build it right there. And let's build another one right there. There we go. I want to make sure we have plenty of it. Open that one up. Citizens freezing. Well, this shouldn't be. Where can we see fuel? Fuel is right there. Okay. 220, so we have plenty for now. Don't have to worry about that again, luckily. Just gonna let it sit for a moment. That's why I'm not doing anything. Just gonna let it sit. Have the kids grow up into adults. Because we don't really have a lot of population right now. We need a lot more. Just don't have enough. Why are they not building that, though? Mm 
You're not really building anything right now. What's going on? We have plenty of builders. What are working on this one? Oh, they need planks, but we don't have them. Let's work in this warehouse first. Prioritize that. Are they going to work on that now? They better. Why aren't they working? What's wrong with them now? Because the storage is full? Question mark? I mean, I literally want to build a new storage. Try another storage yard. See how that goes. Right, they're immediately working on that. They're working on that, but they're not working on this. Why is that? But now they're working on it. Okay, good. Finally, they get back to work. So apparently, the, so the storage was full. And that's why they didn't work on anything for some reason. Even though we had materials in storage to build stuff with. That's a little bit annoying. Now at least they're working on it. And this one will be done soon. And then we'll be working on that one too. There we go. Awesome. Store anything in there. Doesn't matter. Wonderful, wonderful. Still 25 adults. Not many more. These houses have been built. That's also good. You got some more kits in there at some point. This family consists of a male 13 and a female 11. <laughs> That's a very young family. A very young family. 21, 16, 16, 13. The ages are, um, are a bit odd in the game, it seems. Being able to live in a, in a house on their own is a bit weird. Ah, those have been built. Awesome. Uh, let's get that um, processing. Or where was that? Where was the mill? Livability, clean water. Where's the mill at? Oh, there it is. Activate it. There we go. And a sawmill. Oh, cannot place it there. Mm. Place a sawmill. 
You guys just place it over there, that's fine. And let's do the water one over here as well. So we'll do both. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Build both of those. Where are your morals? My morals? What do you mean? I didn't decide that they get to live there. The game did that on their own. <laughs> I didn't decide that. Fuel reserves are low. Oh. I want to have more people there, but we don't have enough adults to work there. Immigrants arrived. Oh, nice. No adult immigrants? Check the town hall for info. I don't have the town hall. Oh. Because we don't have a town hall, they don't stay. All right, so we should definitely build one then. Except they can stay. Build it right there. Prioritize that. Because then we'll get some more immigrants, some more adults moving into the city. We need that. Oh, fuel is low and it's becoming winter again. That is wonderful. Not. That is not very good. Let's remove one of the water dudes and let's put it in the chopping house. Hopefully it'll make some more there. We need more fuel, man. Sawmill, yeah. I don't know food. Food is fine for now. Let's remove one of the workers there. Let's put the worker in here. Get some planks. At least something. Yeah, I'm working on it, son. Take it easy. Working on it. Almost finished. At least we have enough kids now. We have six students, nine children. of them are freezing. Oh, I think one of them died, actually. Some buildings need repair. Yeah, uh, well, I can't repair them if I don't have people to work there. Let's build one of them, I guess. Why not? Alright, this thing is here now, finally. And now the immigrants should be able to move to the town hall. We can check if some of them applied every now and then. The next time we will be able to, uh, to do that, probably. That's nice, and we'll get some more. Alright, the winter has paused. Seems... We still have people, so that's good. Not all of them died to death. That's wonderful. Hopefully some of the children will grow up soon. 15 or 14 now. When can they work? When are they... Is it 18 in this game? I'm guessing 18. Oh wait, or profession student farmer. This guy's already working. Ah, 
So at 15 then. This guy's at 15 still a student. Confused. Bit confused. Apparently we have a 15 year old farmer, but other farmers cannot go. No, other 15 year olds cannot have a job. Bit weird. Yeah, let's remove two of the builders. Put a repair dude in there. Put someone in there. Uh, but, uh, and well, no, actually, we don't have anyone. We don't have any uh, animals here. Probably not a good idea to put them in there. Fuel reserves are low. Well, they are working on it. Do we have to build another one? Where is it? Um, processing. Where the heck is this chopping chopping house? Unbearable heat. Um, arresting by the riverside as they cool off, but there's also some people proposed to go for a swim in the river. The river looks calm. Many citizens are tempted to go for a swim. Don't stop them. They even caught some lobster. Oh, nice. Caught some lobster. Nice. Um, okay. Seriously, where is the chopping thing? Oh, there it is. Jeez. I'm so blind sometimes. It's crazy. There you go, build a road. We'll do a second one. Just in case, because apparently we don't have enough fuel. We don't have enough of anything right now without tools. But we don't have enough adults to work anything. We need a clinic. I feel like this task goal isn't done properly. I feel like it should prioritize the uh, town's hall sooner. Because that means you'll get more adults. And that is really something that's holding me back right now. <clears throat> if I had more adults being able to work, then I wouldn't be having this problem right now. Because I have all these buildings, but no one to work it. They gotta work it and twerk it, baby. But they don't. And I have it on speed 10. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for them to grow up at this point. It's taken so long. Oh, the 17 year old and the 15 year old have a have a child. Oh. Children have children. How is this lady still a student? And the other one was a farmer on 15. I don't get it. I guess they need to graduate first. 
and then you can uh, put them to work. Traveling merchant is here. What is this? Uh, if you pay him some silver coins, he will offer you some goods that you've never seen before, but of unknown value. How many coins do we have? 5,000. Okay. After smoothly trading with the traveling merchant, some ex um, exquisite food were obtained. The merchant left with great satisfaction. 427 roast turkey. Was that really worth it though? I don't feel like it was. I don't feel like it was really worth it, to be honest. The health of the city is really going down right now. We are low on fuel still. Get another someone working on here in the chopping house. Produce that. Hopefully that will fix the problem. We still don't have any tools. Let's build a smithy, I guess. And hopefully soon we will get another adult that can actually work there. Because right now I'm just transferring workers from one place to another. One less builder there. Let's put another builder in here. Make sure they don't all die to death. Don't want them freezing. Well, people get into your homes. Warm up a little. This one's almost done. I guess we'll put someone in there then, making tools. There we go, remove a builder. And add someone there. Making... Stone tools. Um, let's make iron if we can. Looks like we have some of that stuff. Yeah, we have 700 iron for some reason. I don't know why, because we don't have a mine, but okay. It's good to me. Oh my god, the health is so bad. A plague outbreak is <clears throat> imminent. Ah, oh god. So many problems. Uh, but actually, it's probably not going to do much over there. Clinic needs to be near the houses, right? Yeah. Prioritize that, I guess. But now with less builders, it's going to take some time. At least they're not all freezing to death now. We did lose another adult, though. So that's great. We have more students, more kids. Alright, this person is 19. Is he still considered to be a kid? Or a student, or whatever? 
For some reason he is still working. I, I don't get that either. 17, 18 students. When are they adult? Not at 18? 19 teacher. Now we have 24 again, so we went up by one. Are some of the students now finally growing up? I hope so. Because we need it. 25, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Get more builders. Beat that up a little. All right, the students are now finally slowly growing up. Oh my God. We have one more laborer. We'll put that laborer in here in the clinic as soon as possible, increasing the health of the city. Because apparently we are at the lowest point. Plague outbreak can happen at any moment. There we go. Oh, yeah. Automatically work there. Oh, we need to unlock treatment. Where, where do we do that? Um... Medical research. Activate those. Waterborne, skinborne, livable hospital, education, medical, education, skin, livable hospital, livable pharmacy. So why? I don't get it. Why is it in different things? It's so annoying. That's so annoying. Where's that? Hospital. Police station. Church. Bathhouse. Soap will increase the health as well. Can't really afford to do that right now, though. There's the hospital. There we go. The pharmacy is back there. Okay. So we need to go through this. For that. Okay. But right now, we don't need that. Right now, we have the clinic. So health is already improving. <clears throat> slightly. So that's good. Slightly getting better. We're getting more adults now. That's freaking awesome. Ah, good. It means we can get more farmers again. Otherwise, food is going to be an issue soon. And we don't want that. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Do, 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 do. Are we still low on tools? We have someone making them, right? It looks like it. It's getting dark. There's no light at night. You can build some illuminative buildings to light up the town and decoration stamp. Okay. Um... Do we have to unlock those first? Wait, what? I should have read that better. Lighting. Maybe that one? Yeah, whatever. 
I don't care. There's plenty of light. Look at that. There's plenty of light. We don't need more. We're fine. All right, what's this? You can accept immigrants as citizens. Okay. Blake may, go, may also be broad. Oh, that's bad. Immigrants can bring Polake to this town. Well, luckily we have this clinic then now. At least health will be slowly increasing. I feel like this is quite a slow game to start off in. I mean, we've been playing for uh, quite a long time now in this save file as well. And the struggle is real. Get more adults. Struggle is real. And I've been playing this in 10 times speed almost the entire time. So yeah, if you guys play this, I definitely recommend getting the town hall kind of quickly. Because that means you can get the uh, immigrants, you can accept them, you'll get more adults that way. I highly recommend doing that. Or, I mean, you can start a new game with more people too. I saw that in the, uh, in the options menu as well, you can start the game with more people instead of 23. You can start with like 30 or something. That's probably better, starting with like 30 adults. Because otherwise you just have to wait ages to get them. Some of the buildings are destroyed. Rebuild it. Rebuild it. Hey there Clovis, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Are they going to be rebuilding those houses? The herbs are very low. Okay. Well, we could add another laborer there to get more herbs, I guess. If we had another one. Which we don't. So they're just going to have to wait. town is developing well. Shall we go to see the town hall to see if they'll take us in? Nice. 11 immigrants. Heck yeah. Boom. Uh, select your administrator. A fortunate miner who has experienced many accidents without being injured, believing that safety measures can help prevent, uh, help people survive mine accidents and even meteorites. <laughs> Accidental death rate minus 50%. That's good. Interfall between arrival of merchant ship. No, I don't care. Less deaths is much better. Thank you. Much, much better. And let's... Oh yeah, we took in those people. There we go. Wonderful. Now we can finally fill in all the job positions that we have. And get another one working over there. Another two, actually. Get at least one working back there. We can open up this builder's cabin again. Add more people there. The market can have someone else. The farm can have another person working there. Ah, oh, finally. We can have turkeys now here. There we go. Turkeys in the pastures. The slaughter them when they when they hit twenty. And we only have one turkey in there. So that's not gonna do much. Where was the hunting? 
hunting was here. Add another prison there. There we go. Fuel reserves are low. Yeah, we know. Always low. I mean, we have two of them. Should be fine. Let's make more fuel here. And let's make planks over here. And then let's cut down some more trees. A lot more trees. Yeah, that will definitely help us out. I thought I was already making planks, but I just realized that I didn't select it. So that was kind of stupid. But it is what it is. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, it can only have 15 students. Should probably get another school then. Put another one over there. And we're gonna need some more housing too. One, two, three, four. There we go, much better. You're doing good, Clovis. I'm doing good too. Oh. Look at that. That looks cool. I like the look of this. Not that. <laughs> Go through it. Cool stuff. Alright, the houses are being built. Wonderful. Then less people will have to live in this one. And we're getting more adults. Awesome. They're slowly growing up. Iron is starting to get a bit lower. I keep accidentally cancelling that one. <laughs> um, let's get the mining. Do that one right there. Ba -ba -da -bum. Build that mine. Get some more iron from there. And some more coal. Got plenty of wood for now. Actually, I don't see much wood in there. Oh, what is this? A bunch of drunkards were fighting, um, were lighting up the campfire and holding a party near the city. Unexpectedly, they started to argue about which wine was better and asked others and you to judge. Medicinal liqueur is better. Whiskey is better. Whiskey, obviously. Some disapproved of this answer and brought out loads of medicinal liquor for others to appreciate. Okay, fine. That's not a bad thing. I guess, because now we have more of that additional liquor. It's not bad to have. Fuel reserves are still low for some reason. Add another person to this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's add another forester here. Cut down some more trees. Oh, what the heck is that? 
An unidentified flying object suddenly showed up in town, hovering over your place, sending out mysterious waves. It seems like saying hello to you. It seems like it's saying hello to you. Will you respond or pretend not seeing it? Say hello back. A friendly greeted you and teach you their planting technology. After they flew away, the yields from the farm seemed to have increased. Wow. That's awesome. Getting more yield from them apparently now. <laughs> That's kind of random. Having a UFO above the city. Oh, we need a tailor. There we go, build a tailor right there. Looks like I didn't have to build another one. Because this one has zero students. It's on 13 now. Ah oh well. At least I'll have an extra for when it is needed. Build some more houses. Might want to build another well nearby as well. I mean, for now it's fine. And actually, what about a shelter? There we go, let's build a shelter too. Just in case. Have someone working in the mine. Gather. Or iron ore. That'll be good. Alright, happiness is super high. Happiness is super high. City health is going back to normal. That's awesome. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. How my fingers doing, Solar? Ah, oh, it's good. Uh, yeah. For the people who don't know, yesterday I burnt my uh, t to my fingers. I put boiling hot water. I spilled it on top of uh, two of my fingers. Not that much, just a couple of splatters. Um, but I actually don't feel anything anymore. I don't see anything. I don't feel anything. I uh, put I uh, I put it in water for like ten minutes first. Then I put gaze around, or, or gauze, it's called, right? Gauze. Put gauze around my fingers. And, um... Well, first, no. First, uh, I put Vaseline on my fingers. And then I put gauze on top of that. Around my fingers, and... Then played the game, and did the live stream. And after the live stream, it was actually already gone. Like, I, I already didn't... I almost didn't feel it anymore. That was really good. And today when I woke up, I uh it, it's it's just completely gone. I don't I barely see it. I don't feel it at all. So, that's good. All right, we need more people again. Oh, we have some more turkeys now. Awesome. Seven of them. Just gonna start producing food at some point. That's nice. Twelve students, thirteen children. We need more houses, maybe. Build two more houses. Can only be built within marketplaces. Oh, it has to be in a certain radius. Didn't realize that. Oh. 
I see. All right, so we're going to have to build another market then somewhere. Um, there we go. It's not a big deal. We can build another one. Build it like back there somewhere. I have to wait for it to be built first before I can do anything else. That's fine. Hello, Vera does wonders for burns. Yeah. Yeah, if I had that, I would have done that instead. But the Vaseline actually uh, worked really well. I was not expecting it to work that well, so. That was a good surprise. Good to know for the future. Have somebody working in a tailor that they'll finally have clothing. At least we have enough fuel now. That's not a problem anymore, luckily. Let's have a second person working in a tailor. And, oh yeah, we have to hit one of these first. Um, leather, wool, alpaca, wool, linen, or cotton. Uh, I don't have any of that. Recipe, no recipe selected, suspension is... Straw shoes. We cannot make straw shoes. Backpack. Recipe is suspended. What? Make clothing out of anything, if possible. I, I don't have any of that, though. That's a problem. I don't think I have. Oh, wait, we do. I guess the hunter has been getting that stuff oh yeah alpaca wool and leather oh nice okay so we can actually make things okay that's good we started to make some clothing awesome good stuff good stuff i really like our little city so far what do you guys think you guys like what you're seeing I think we made it look pretty nice. Little farming area, pasture with turkeys. Little um, housing area back there with a school and a church and all that. I like it so far. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We do some more of these tasks, but not really necessary. They seem all very happy. And... um. I am planning on streaming uh, some more Core Keeper later today in a couple of hours. So unfortunately, I think this will be the end of the stream right here. Because I do have to have my uh, voice rest a bit. I can already hear that it's, um, that it's slowly dying. <laughs> so I have to rest for a few hours and then... Uh, Later today, in like three hours from now, yeah, about three hours from now, uh, we're going to do some more Core Keeper. And that is open. It is a server that's open 24-7, so anyone watching right now can join it. The information to the server um, game ID can be found for members in the members-only Discord chat or the community post and for everybody else um, it can be found in the discord in the general announcements channel so members can find it on the youtube channel as well in the community page um, or if you are uh, not a member you can find information to the game id in the discord in the general announcements channel um, so it is kind of protected from you know, people who want to do uh, evil, I guess. <laughs> who want to ruin the experience, you know what I mean? 
thank you guys all for being here hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i will see you all later today hopefully in uh, core keeper